Hey guys, Burnished here, and today I'm bringing you another cast of League of Legends. This is another random featured match that I did find um, on the League of Legends featured game spectate thing. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But anyway, in this match, uh, unfortunately we don't really have that many celebrities really in the League of Legends community. We have uh, someone from MME. We also have uh, Link115, which I'm certain he's been in another cast of mine. Uh, we got VVV, Altec, uh, don't know what team he's from, but, well, the thing's VVV. And we got Fournet, Ze uh, Zekant, so. And, uh, interesting play. I actually do want to check this out. We do actually see Fournet, Zekant is now, is actually playing Janna. Now, I have seen him on... Other people's streams on uh, just playing in high elo North American games, and he's been playing quite a lot of AP Jana, and that's a very, it's a very weird thing to think that Jana would play a role that Jana would pursue, would be AP. But apparently it's working. Apparently it's very strong right now, and it looks like he's actually going to be taking AP Jana in the top lane for this game, and he is going to be going up against Swain, I do believe. No, sorry, Riven. In fact, so he's got the slight advantage in the top lane there. I mean, Jana versus Riven. Riven can't really get close. She can do a lot of dashes, but all of the CC from Zekan would just completely nullify that move speed and just not allow Riven to get anywhere close to Jana unless Jana accidentally goes in too close, goes in for that bit of CS, and then does get caught out. Um, in the mid lane, we do have Rise. We have someone with Triumphant Rise, which is quite nice. You do get... Uh, it's no longer in the game. I believe you get Triumphant Rise from competing in uh, just a tournament in general. And, you know, usually Riot give it out as a prize. So if you want to create a tournament and then you want some prizes from Riot that Riot will give you for your tournament, then usually they add in Triumph Rise. Uh, that's pretty much all I know about the skin. And anyway, it is Rise against a Swain in mid lane. So Swain having a bit more sustain, a bit more range as well onto Rise. It's going to be difficult to, for Rise to uh, trade really effectively against Swain due to uh, obviously the increased range. And it does also mean Rise is going to have to be fast on his feet with the 400 move speed. So pretty sure he will be. But he needs to be fast dodging those Ws from Swain, the Nevermore. Or never move. Is it never more or never move? Uh, never move. Yeah, it is. So yeah, and in the bot lane we do have uh, the despicable Urgot here. Urgot, generally known as a tryhard pick. And the reason why this is, is just because he is so strong in laning phase. He is absolutely insane in the laning phase and also he's a great initiator you can swap yourself out for the enemy's AD carry which means the enemy's AD carry goes into your team whilst you go into the enemy team that's why you build Urgot very defensively and if you build him defensively he's not going to get insta burst down in that team fight and you can kill the enemy AD carry without yours going down so that's pretty much the simple way and he's very strong uh, he gets abused quite a lot on the European servers but not so much on the NA server, so we'll see how this goes in the bot lane. He does have an Alistair support, so a very offensive line. Whereas against him, we have a Link 115 as Ezreal. Um, actually taking a bit of damage, so I think they may have caught him out in uh, this tri-bush here, or close to blue, which is where the blue team is standing. But it is Ezreal Soraka, so a very, very, very strong lane for sustain. Uh, Ezreal having that free flash like every 6 seconds or whatever arcane shift cooldown is and Soraka obviously healing him Soraka with summon heal so that's double the heals and that's just going to be absolutely insane for bot lane it's going to be very difficult as long as Soraka and Ezreal play correctly play for the farm play for the late game then they can u they can probably come out a little bit better they could probably win in some engages but, uh, yeah, it's all dependent on the skill. Anywho. Oh, and the jungle is a Malphite and Moikai, but, you know, don't really care about them. Anyway, let's begin on with this match. We, as I did say, we do see a blue team here by the enemy blue, so they may want to go still for this. Uh, they did hurt Ezreal a bit, so that does mean that they are seen here. So that may be a reason to back out as well. 
Rise sort of in his mid lane and Janna in the tri-bishop top. Moikai looking like he's going to settle for, uh, well, he's going to do Wraith Camp. Wraith Camp on Moikai is always a good thing because you start off with the saplings. I believe he has, yeah. Started off with the saplings, so that means he can get some nice experience going onto blue. And, yeah, he could also just do red instead of blue if he wanted to. Anyway, let's finally begin. So, as I did say, reiterating again, we see blue team here. Alistair, maybe going for the dive? What is he... Oh, I think I think he was tanking the turret for Urgot, uh, but Alistair taking way too much damage for that to actually be a viable tactic. So, Link115 is going to go back. Saplings inside the Moikai jungle. Janna still up in the top lane there. And uh, a lot of... A lot of fallback pings coming from blue team, I do believe. So, basically saying they don't want to go take this blue. They think it's too much of a risk. They just want Malphite to do his own blue. And then finish his jungle and go out for some ganks. And Ezreal did obviously have to back because he was on very low HP. Alistair, however, not backing. Alistair's deciding that he's just going to stay here and do golems. And then he'll get the healing from himself on the lane phase. And... Blue team, Urgot and Alistair are actually doing golems. It's a great way to start off a game. It means when they get into lane, they are much stronger than their opponents. If they have that little bit of extra EXP, that means they'll level up faster, get their skills faster. And that makes them a hell of a lot stronger. And uh, Blue is going to Moikai and Malphite, so very usual there. No real invades. Um, however, it looks like the main wolf has actually been taken from Malphite, so maybe Janna was actually invading a little bit there. Janna actually getting really caught out there. Maybe I was a bit wrong about that. I wonder what actually Janna has started with. That was pretty interesting. Um, let us have a look. Janna has actually started with her shield. That's probably why I reckon when she hits level 2 she will go for the Howling Gale. Yeah, she has. Let's go back to direct camera. So now it's going to be difficult for Riven because Janna's level 2. Which means she can use that Howling Gale to stop Riven in her tracks. She can use Howling Gale very effectively to farm. It does scale the more she builds it up and means obviously don't move. Oh, but Ryze getting caught out there with the W. What's going to happen now? R Swain taking a lot of damage. They're trading off actually quite equally. Very surprising. I would have thought Swain would have gone a little bit better, I suppose. Uh, oh, actually, Moika coming here for the Flash Twisted Advance. The Flash coming out from Swain as well. And this, that's a kill right there. First blood going to rise. However, will he go down as well with the Ignite? No, just surviving. The flash twisted advance there from Moikai. Maybe if Swain had flashed into his turret, it may have uh, may have turned the tide slightly. Because then the turret will be attacking Moikai. Soraka taking a little bit of a burst there. And uh, Riven really pushing up against uh, Janna, but taking a lot of turret damage in return. Still a very nice first gank in mid. That twisted advance, that's why I love seeing Moikai's in fights. Uh, Odd one, really known for his Moikai play. Pretty much uh, his main jungler. Or, well, that's the one I've, I've seen him most play in scrims, in tournaments, etc. Anyway, uh, Moikai being very strong, being able to use that twisted advance, it's a free CC. Not really much they can do about it. There also is the knock-up, so any abilities that they may be channeling, any abilities that they want to cast can be instantly stopped with the knock-up and the sapling there for the little bit of extra damage. And it can also be used as a mini ward. It does only last 45 seconds. However, putting it in mid lane can mean a world of difference. It means a gank could not happen, a kill uh, could be saved, your team could be one kill better. And so that's why Moikai is a fairly strong jungler. However, Malphite, we don't actually see much of him. That is uh, mainly... Oh, actually, trade-off going in here in mid. And Rai is coming off extremely better in that confrontation. I actually want to check out Rai right now and see what, um, what he is looking at. He already has his Ruby Crystal and his Sapphire. So he's putting that to class. Oh, and the Flash Snare going out from Rai. And the turret dive, will he be able to survive? No. Double buff is down there. Very unfortunate how Rai does pick up that kill. Actually... Some damage going down in bot lane here. Nothing really coming out of it. I don't know actually who picked up that. I think Moikai picked up that kill onto Swain underneath the turret. So, oh, Malphite going down there. Malphite not realizing the damage from Rise. Rise doing some stupendous damage at the moment. Malphite a little bit too far out, and on 
No HP. That is a red buff burn on Moy uh, on Malphite. Malphite not actually having blue. So uh, my assumption is. Oh, actually, Ezreal getting punted up. No, he's just going to survive. Can they get the kill onto this Urgot? And the auto attack does actually get it. They kill each other at the same time there. Riven teleporting in, trying to pick up the kill onto Soraka. Soraka flashing away, trying to get out of this. Rai taking a lot of damage from Swain. Moika actually coming in from behind. Can he get the twisted advance off? Check out this fight in mid. So they're going down onto Swain. Can Rise get out of this? Yes, he can. But can Moika finish off this kill onto Swain? No, it's not looking like it unless he has a twisted advance right now. Can he get this? One twisted advance can get it. A sapling! A sapling picks up the kill. Very good job there by Moikai. Uh, Rai still managing to get off that snare and doing a little bit of damage before having to get back so he does not die. That's another kill in mid lane. Swain now on 1 3. Very unlucky. It's sort of getting uh, chopped down here in mid a little bit. And that fight in bot lane was pretty stupendous. Ezreal just going balls to the wall there. And uh, even though he was exhausted, just trying to get in there, do the most damage, he did actually manage to miss the uh, the pulverize. And uh, Urgot is PC'd? Huh. Well, that sort of uh, ruined my cast. Um, huh. Okay, I hope uh, I hope Urgot is gonna reconnect or something, because I don't know why he would just go in suicide like that. Especially when uh, his team is definitely in the lead at the moment. The kills are 6-2. to 10.8k to 8.2. So you're looking at about a 3k gold lead here. A little bit under. That is absolutely insane. Oh got running back into bot lane. I don't know if he, if he lagged or if he um, hold tabs. Check Facebook or something. But um, trade off again in mid here. And, uh, Rise being able to really sustain in these trade-offs is actually quite uh, not amazing, but very odd to see Rise being able to trade off that well. Just looking at him right now, he does have he has zero ability power. However, he does have 1,300 mana that may be helping towards it. The ulti from Ezreal actually missing, I think. But doing pretty much no damage to Urgot. However, he does get initiated on there by Alistair. The Acid Hunter's going down, chunking down for damage, but the heal from Soraka giving him the armor buff. The armor buff is down. Could possibly get a kill on someone here. Urgot taking way too much damage. Soraka really good against Urgot, giving the armor buff, meaning the Acid Hunter's doing a lot less damage than they normally would. And Moiko coming in from behind, actually, underneath the tower. Can they pick up a kill? Twisted Advance going down. Can Link pick up this kill? He is actually taking turret damage. He has to get out of there, and they can't pick up the kill. Ezreal taking way too much turret damage there. Couldn't really do anything. Malphite actually coming down here now. He is a new level 5 though, so he can't really do that much. He does not have his ulti. Uh, the only thing he can really do is slow them up and speed him, slow them down and speed himself up. Which uh, is not the best thing. However, he has just dinged level 6. But Urgot did go back. So is Alistair. Don't think anything can be made out of this. See how Janna's doing in the top lane. Janna on 58 farm. Riven on 63. Sort of not the best. Um, I have a feeling that John has had to farm at her turret for uh, a while this game. Considering Riven did teleport down to bot lane to try and pick up that kill onto Soraka. And she's still ahead in CS. Now, uh, well actually they've gone about even now. So, still I think Janna has uh, lost a few CS to the turret. Or something along those lines. Just because... <laughs> It's Riven, and she's uh, very aggressive in the early game. Not really much Janna can do against that. She can't be offensive. She doesn't have the DPS. She has good burst damage, but uh, the thing about Janna is she scales well. Uh, so, uh, she has she has uh, decent, I would say, base damages. I mean, if you look at Howl and Gale, it has 135. It's still, it's sort of it's sort of nothing compared to um, trying to get a good. Punished thing here like Riven's Broken Wings doing 105 so and she can spam those that's the that's the point I'm trying to get out here uh, the Pulverize actually going down onto Soraka the exhaust going down onto Urgot can they do anything with this Ezreal having to arcane shift away from that W going down slowing his attack speed can they pick up anything on Soraka no 
That's what I was talking about earlier on. The sustain in this lane is just absolutely too strong. Have the ulti coming out from Urgot. The pulverize also going down. The ulti from Malphite in behind. Ezreal is having to use everything to try and get out of here. See, not actually teleporting down. Trying to do something. Manages to pick up a kill onto Malphite. Can they also pick up a kill onto Urgot to even that out? Doesn't really look... Urgot sort of camping in the bush here. Trying to pick up something. Oh, but Moikai coming down. Can he get Twisted Vance? He gets Twisted Vance onto Alistair. So they're actually picking the opposite targets here. So that's going to not be a kill onto Alistair. Xenot may be going down here. Riven is down there as well. Teleport was obviously off core now. There goes the Tornado. Can they pick up anything here? Janna actually picking up the kill onto Urgot. I don't know how she did that. And then that is going to be a kill for Rise onto Riven. Good turnaround there from Red Team. They saw what was happening in the bot lane. However, did see it a little bit too late. Swain trying to not... No, he's been hit by the Twisted Advance. Swain running through the towers there, trying to get... Um, I can't even think of the word at the moment. Trying to die to the towers so that the enemy team does not pick up the kill. Uh, using his flash to try and do that as well. But then Moikai still getting the Twisted Advance off, still getting the money for the Swain death. Is very unfortunate. Does mean that he's now a summoner spell down as well. Uh, that turnaround in bot lane was quite uh, was quite good. Jana going down at exactly the right time with teleport as they were diving for that. But then Riven also joining in, joining in a little bit late though. I think her teleport was still on cooldown or something like that. So it did take her a while to actually get down there. Do you actually see maybe a gank going on up top here? This would be quite interesting to see how Janna fares with the gank. However, Janna is pushing quite hard into this lane. Don't know if Moikai is going to be able to get Twisted Advance off here. Ping actually goes down. Twisted Advance going down. Can, can he get the knock up? The air gets the knock up. The sapling goes down. NASA dead. Riven. Almost said it a bit too quickly there. But uh, the red buff actually picking up the kill onto Riven. Being able to jump away out of the Moikai ult. So very nice gank from Moikai, very patient there. A lot of junglers would sort of think that uh, can't really do much. However, Malphite ganking mid here. Red team going for Dragon as well. Now there is a ward down there for blue team. Ryze coming in here, there's not going to be any way they're going to be able to contest this unless Malphite can get in with a flash. No, Ryze managed to pick up the kill. The ultimate from Malphite going on to Ezreal. Ezreal is surely going to go down here. There he goes. And... Uh, Oh, the ulti onto Shiraka. That's another kill right there. Swain W getting hit. And then the Acid Hunters pretty much finishing her off there. Very nice play from blue team. So not necessarily worth it there, in my opinion. Uh, they traded a dragon for two kills. So about 600 gold uh, in total going to red team. And 190 per player going to going to red team, sorry, 600 gold going to blue team, around uh, 190 gold each going to red team. So, number wise they did come off a little bit statistically, but all in all, that's going to get Malphite a nice item, and it's also going to get Swain a nice item. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not a particularly bad trade-off, but it's not a particularly good one, as in they would have been better off not dying. So, yeah, if you're playing League of Legends and you're looking for some advice, don't die. There you go. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, Link back in this bot lane here. Unfortunately, he did go down in the Dragon Pit. He sort of was standing there, but I don't think... Uh, I think he just assumed there was nothing he could really do. Moikai Twisted Advance going down soon. Maybe the Snare actually going down from Ryze. Riven going on to Ryze. Can they pick up a kill? And Swain does go down, however, Ryze extremely low with Ignite on self. It does burn off. Zekin going down there, helping the fight as well. Ryze sort of doing damage from the side here. Managing to pick up the kill onto Riven. Can they pick up the kill onto Malphite? They may have to die for this. Oh, and the shield from Janna saving Ryze's life. Malphite thinking he could pick up that kill. However, Janna using the shield very effectively to... Um, Basically baits Malphite out. Malphite thought that, uh, you know, Ryze is pretty low HP. I could probably ground slam him, do a couple of auto attacks and get away with the kill and then possibly get out of there. But um, the Janna shield saving him from a lot of that damage. So very nice bait there from Red Team. Picking up three kills in that mid lane. And bot lane sort of 
passive lane a little bit here. As I was saying that, Alistair going in for the uh, Pulverize. Very good play from uh, Alistair though, sort of running up to Ezreal. Very good, because it makes him waste his up in shift. They may actually go on to Soraka here. No. Oh, Zekin is actually down there in the bot lane. Now this is definitely going on to Urgot. He has been exhausted. Can he get away? Zekin doing some auto attacks to try and get some damage down. So is Ezreal. Managed to pick up that kill. The Pulverize from Alistair. Not going to be able to save him. Oh, the, but the Flash! The Boomerang just saving him. Can Ezreal get one last auto attack off? No, they can't. Perfect play there from Red, uh, from Blue Team, actually. They are quite far behind. Uh, well, okay, Rise is here now, so Malphite is pretty much dead. <laughs> yeah, there goes Malphite. However, um, Alistair doing a very impressive play there, using his Pulverize and then flashing directly afterwards. So the stun does apply onto all members of Red Team. And then he does also flash away, so it means they have uh, he has a lot more range on them. Poor guy uh, solo topping against Riven here. Actually going to go on to Riven. Doing quite a fair bit of damage, to be fair. On to uh, Riven. Oh, there goes the ulti from Riven. She wants this kill right now. Swain is actually heading up top. That could possibly be why. Moikai taking a lot of damage. He may lose his oracles here. The ulti from Riven. Oh, there goes the W from Swain. He's not going to be able to get out of this one. He does flash, actually. I don't know where he's headed though, he's sort of headed the wrong way. And he does go down to the Swain damage over time. Very unlucky there for Moikai. He has actually lost an Oracles now, that's really not good for Red Team. That means they're going to have a lot less uh, ward control. They, obviously, uh, Moikai would be destroying wards with that. But that is quite a lot of gold. That's basically two kills. Because you have the kill on the champion itself, but also the 400 gold they need. Oh, Moikai actually getting burnt down a little bit there. It's about half. Rai's just doing so much damage at the moment, popping his ulti. And he goes for the flash in and the Q to pick up that kill. But Swain is down there. Riven's down there. Alice is down there. Urgot's down there. And he is dead. 492 gold going to Riven for the shutdown. A lot of gold he accumulated onto himself. As I was saying earlier about the Oracle's fiasco, is that... Now Moikai pretty much has to get... Oh, actually, the ulti going down onto Link, but the arcane shift over the wall completely nullifying it. Can get some damage off there with the Acid Hunters. The ulti goes down from Link. It's directly onto Alistair. Onto uh, Urgot, rather. And it looks like Link is going to die here. He does not have arcane shift. He's probably waiting for that to come off cooldown any minute now. No, he arcane shifts in the wrong direction, trying to pick up the kill onto Urgot. Just not enough damage, unfortunately. And Soraka may be going down here. Headbutt, the pulverize, the auto attacks, but no, uh, <laughs> Urgot has to go back here. Twisted advance going down onto Moikai, the sapling, onto Urgot rather. The flash out of the ulti from Moikai will possibly save Urgot's life, and it does. Soraka going down there directly from Swain. Good play from Urgot, knowing that Moikai's ulti will do quite a fair bit of damage just by popping it, by not taking any damage in the ring, just the ulti itself. Activating it again does quite a bit of damage and he was o he only had a little bit of life left, so flashing out of that at the right time when Moikai had none of his abilities up was a perfect idea and it played off perfectly, managing them, allowing them to pick up a kill on Soraka without losing their Urgot. So now the score is 9-17, to 17, quite dramatic change. Blue team, nearly half of the kills of red team. And red team does have two turrets down. Blue team is only destroyed in one turret. And this may be the second dragon going to red team. The Ezreal ulti actually clearing some minion waves. Can I got pick up a kill here? Alistair coming in from behind. Gonna use the headbutt to push him back a little bit. No, actually just gonna go for the pulverize. So you can actually come down here as well. Malphite is also up there at the top. Moikai trying to get some damage on Tim. The DFG from Janna. Going down there, just completely dominating his HP. Moikai picking up the kill onto Malphite. Riven going down there, trying to do some damage. The ulti from Janna just healing up her team. That's all she's using it for, and they do manage to pick up the kill onto Alistair. Very effective there. I'm not exactly sure what the scaling is on Janna's ulti. I'm going to uh, check that out, actually. As I did say, Janna does have a G DFG, and she also has a Magi. It's very... Um, very, what's the word? Very confident that she won't die in this game. She hasn't died yet. She's three zero seven, so that's uh, 
say she got the Magi on about 1, 4, I don't know. But she has, she has a couple of stacks, actually. What are her stacks? That, that would be a good idea. She has 7 stacks, which is a very nice amount of stacks. Uh, Magi's, you can sort of work it out. The price that it costs, uh, you sort of have to have about seven, six, seven ish stacks. This may actually be kill on Urgot here. The DFG also going down the ulti from Ezreal, missing, but Ezreal does manage to get the kill anyway. As I was saying, the Magi's, it sort of becomes uh, a lot of damage going on to Malphite there. Rise is really having a happy day right now. As I was saying, again, the Magi's does definitely become worth it when you have about 7 to 8 stacks. 7 to 8 stacks is about the right amount because you get so much AP that the price that you bought the Magi's for is equal to an item that gives you flat AP. So, pretty much worth it on Janna right now to buy that Magi's. Rise taking a lot of damage, having to flash over that wall. Zekna teleporting in here. Gets the slow onto Malphite, doing so much damage right there. The ulti trying to push him backwards, actually pushing him to safety, unfortunately. The flash going down from Moikai, tries to get the twist advance off. No vision though. Tries it again, no vision, and finally the third time gets vision. Taking a lot of damage, getting the heal from Soraka and the shield from Janna. But probably will go down right now if choose that ulti from Malphite. Yeah, Swain picking up the kill there. Uh, very unlucky. Janna almost had that kill. Maybe if the... I don't know if her DFG was on cooldown. But I didn't see her use it. Maybe she used it. She could have picked up the kill. Uh, but probably on cooldown. It's not the it's not the thing you would usually forget in a, a high elo rank game. And uh, we do actually see... Janna really showing her confidence that she's not going to die. By having an Oracle as well to replace the one that Moiko lost. Riven getting bursted down there. Oh, and Janna goes down just as I say that. Her confidence is whittled away. The ulti going down onto Ryze, giving uh, Urgot extra armor and I believe magic resistance. Can Ryze go down here? The Acid Hunter missing there. Riven's trying to get in there with the kill. She goes on Soraka. Ryze does go down to Urgot, and Urgot picking up the double kill. Picking up the kill onto Soraka and Ryze. Very nice there by Blue Team. Making a very nice turnaround here. And that does mean that Janna, uh, mid turret actually probably going to go down here, but that does mean that Janna now only has five stacks of her soul engorgement. And she has lost that oracle, so that's a lot that she has just lost in one single death. Very unlucky for Janna there. It's maybe a bot turret actually for red team. Lots of pings from blue team actually probably wants to get out of there pretty quickly. <laughs> Looking at the gold difference, there is about an 8k gold difference, and blue team behind about by about 8k. Uh, sort of makes sense, red team has had double dragon, th uh, two more turrets down than a blue team has, and also seven more kills, so definitely the difference is showing. Ezreal getting his red buff there, very nice on Ezreal, allowing him for the slows, making him a kite machine with that arcane shift. Moikai might be going on this. Oh, the ulti from Riven going back onto Ezreal. The exhaust goes down. Because Ezreal does have exhaust. The twist advance does go down. The ulti from Ezreal picking up the kill. Very nice there. Good job by Ezreal. Good thing he did have that exhaust. If he had summoning hill, probably would have died there. So, very unlucky. The ulti actually going onto Swain from Urgot. The ulti from Malphite going off. Not really doing a lot. The ground slam. Moikai trying to absorb some of that damage with his ultimate. Not really working, however, Moikai Malphite taking an awful lot of damage there. Alistair has used his ultimate. So, oh, Moikai go down here, it's getting very close. Oh god, has been slowed, and the sapling! Oh, and the double kill right there! The sapling picking up the kill onto Alistair and Ryze picking up the kill onto Urgot. Very nice there, very nice play. Just shows the power of the saplings, I'm assuming that was a max. Uh, sapling for the uh, jungle clear. So very nice for fighting as well. The ulti pushing them back there. Malphite almost dying there. Ryze is going to go in for the dive for this one. But will he get it? The ulti going down from uh, Moikai trying to defend some of that Ryze health. Riven is actually down there. Oh, the Howling Gale dodge just the sapling though. No, Ezreal Arcane shifts with the wall pick up the kill. No assist though. Riven taking a lot of damage. He's going to go down here as well. Double kill for Ezreal. Ezreal sitting on 7-4-4 four, four, already with his Trinity Force. He does also have a Riggles. 
and he's just straight out bought his last Whisper, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage to Urgot, even after the switch. A lot of damage to Riven. Uh, I don't actually think Riven's built any armor, but... Yeah. Uh, a lot of damage uh, to Malphite, I believe, as well. Yeah, Malphite is building up that Frozen Heart, so... Want to really cut through that armor, even with the uh, decreased attack speed. Now, may be playing a bit more passively at the moment. This game has been very non-passive. 26 minutes in and a total of 39 kills. However, the Swiss advance going down there onto Urgot. Rise getting in there with all of his abilities. Can he get the last Q off? No, the Ignite takes actually and does pick up the kill. Very nice play there by Moikai. Moikai very easily setting up ganks, very um, very able to initiate fights with just that one twisted advance. Snaring off one person can easily mean the death. The Howling Gale not picking up the blue buff. Janna very unhappy trying to kill Swain to get this blue buff back. One thing I have actually noticed from watching... Oh, the sapling goes down, but the flash over the wall will save him. However, Riven taking a lot of damage here. Can he pick up the kill? Ezreal does pick up the kill. Can we see uh, Swain is definitely dead there. And uh, guess who picks up the blue buff? It's Janna. Uh, one thing I have actually noticed about Janna in this uh, in this game is that she has very good uh, AP scaling. She does a lot of damage. Only problem is she has very high cooldowns. Headbutt going on to... Ezreal, the Pulverize, and the Malphi ulti. So many knockups here. Will he actually go down? The Ezreal ulti going out onto Urgot, and he's going to go down. Rise. Coming down here. The ulti onto Rise, trying to pick up the kill. Again, very needy for these kills right now. Rise taking a lot of turret damage. Can they pick up this kill? Alistair getting extremely low. Moikai throwing out a sapling there. Really going for the dive. The Twisted Advance going onto Malphite. DFG from Janna. She does ulti out. Uh, she does flash out, rather. The ulti goes out to heal up the rest of the team. A lot of that stopped by the Riven ulti. They really do not want to fight this fight. They will lose it. Rise flashing out there, having to flash out. Moikai taking a lot of damage. Everyone's taking a lot of damage now, but blue team are actually pretty low. Alistair does go down there to Rise. Simple Q there, picking up the kill. Howling Gale going out, not picking up anyone, unfortunately. Zerak got very low health indeed. Twisted Advance going down from Moikai, picking up the kill onto Malphite, well, helping Rise pick up the kill. Ah, oh, the Howling Gale just missing Urgot, just not enough range, she didn't channel it for long enough. Uh, Rise actually going for the dive there, managed to put the kill onto Riven, the W not hitting Rise, the Ezra ulti going down, hitting Swain. Moikai does however go down, and Rise on ridiculously low health right now, if he gets caught out by one Acid Hunter. No, he will be fine, and that HP, what HP is he actually on? Oh, Seraka healed it and ruined it, whatever. And he is actually going to take red, but simply for the spell vamp. So we can heal up quite a bit of that HP, and he has actually killed up quite a bit. Looking at Rise now, he's on half-life just from that. Um, actually, Ezreal getting bursted down here by Swain. So the source going down on Swain, Ezreal will die here. He is taking a lot of tower damage, and uh, bye. Janna sort of, like, couldn't do nothing, man. You were already dead. Now if I pick up the uh, minions there, getting a nice amount of money. One thing that I haven't actually talked about in this game, is the CSs on the team. Urgot only on 158 compared to Ezreal's 218, which is quite a lot. Very big difference there. And we do see Janna on around 200 minions, Riven on around the same as well, so pretty even in the top lane. Swain on 148, Rise on 200, so 50 difference there, 50 difference in uh, top lane. And... Alistair has more farm than Shafa, so yeah, it's pretty much GG. <laughs> no, but um... I was actually looking for the jungler. 91 on Malphi and 120 on to Moikai. So Moikai a little bit more farmed. And however, Malphi actually running that triple GP10 build. Whereas Moikai only has uh, only has two. In fact, no, he has a Shirelia, so he did actually start with three. So that's triple. And he actually has a Yomu, so I'm pretty sure he went quad GP10 there in that game. 
I just didn't notice it. And this is going to be the third dragon for red team. Flash goes out. There we go. The ulti from Riven actually going out as well. The Shirelia is going down from blue team. Can they pick up the kill? Malphite ulti going down. The ground slam also going down. The flash from Alistair. The pulverize trying to pick up as many kills as he can. Swain going in there doing a lot of damage with his crow form. And Riven trying to pick up the kill as well. Alistair actually goes out in the background. Moikai picking up a double kill. Malphite picking up the kill onto Soraka actually. Ma uh, Moikai taking a lot of damage here. Can they actually pick up the kill onto Riven? R Riven does go down to Ezreal. And Ergot does go down to Janna. So, very nice play there from Red Team. Red Team only losing Ryze. I can't exactly remember who Ryze died to. I believe it was Riven. Yeah, R I'm pretty sure it was Riven who killed Ryze. Um, so, yeah. Riven, uh, Ryze, and Soraka, the only two going down. However, four going down on the blue team. And if you actually checked, Malphite was on extremely low health when he left that fight as well. And that's going to be a free inhibitor for red team. Not really much Malphite can do. Shrelia is being popped there because they are just respawning. And red team should get out of this A-OK. -okay. Boots of mobility on... Uh, Moike actually trying to speed himself up to get those twisted advance for the clutch plays. Do I actually see blue team haven't actually warded Baron? They've warded around Baron. They got a ward there and a ward there. Those two are running down, are uh, running out soon. Actually, the the teleport going on to that ward. Shiraka maybe getting caught out here. Shiraka running into the blue buff there. there Not no very good. Shirelli is going down. That's going to be a kill. The flash coming out from Soraka. She doesn't have the Shirelias up anymore. The ulti from Riven. She actually escapes that. They decide not to chase that. A fear for, for red team being there. Red team now on 60k gold to blue team's 43k. Those last couple of team fights definitely turning the tide to this game. Well, not really turning the tide. Just uh, reinforcing the waves. Uh, the Twisted Vance going on to Riven just before. No! She actually gets out there. I can't believe she actually got out of that. Janna doing a ton of damage to Alistair, making him pop the ultimate there. He probably would have died from the Ezreal ult. So very good play there by Ezreal. And Swain just gets absolutely obliterated by Ryze. Ryze late game, very much a power to be reckoned with. Doing insane damage, also being very tanky. Ezreal chunking down Urgot here. Can he pick up the kill? Riven actually going round. Will she enter this? The flash going down from Janna, trying to pick up the kill. Can they pick up the kill onto Urgot? Urgot walking away with about one HP. Ezreal taking a lot of damage from Malphite. Zeekun does actually pick up the kill onto Riven. Malphite taking a lot of damage to the Twisted Advance and Ryze picking up the kill. Very nice play there by Ryze. Urgot surviving on about one HP. Doesn't matter though. Oh, and the chain, the swap there from Urgot just for a little bit of fun. Trying to get Ryze hit by the turret. But that is GG, guys. They did surrender. Um, can't really blame them. There probably would have been a push for the win at the end there. Not really much... Um, not really much blue team can do, right? Uh, I think Swain was about 10 seconds off respawning. So, I think he would have just got chunked down before he could defend anything anyway. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this cast. This was actually quite a nice game to uh, cast. Because it, was, uh, it wasn't directly one-sided, but uh, there were quite a nice... Uh, there were quite a few nice plays in this. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please do like, favorite. I'm trying to get these casts out to more people, more people, a bigger audience. Um, at the moment, a lot of my views are actually going to uh, the 17 second clips about like Cassiopeia 1v5 or you know those random videos that make people laugh for about 15 seconds. Then they backspace and go look at another link. Anyway, I want to get my cast out there. I want to start casting actual events. And uh, just sort of getting out there in the esports community. Anyway, guys, so basically the summary of that is a like goes a long way for me. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this cast. I will see you all next time.